a firm plans to set aside out of its profit and loss account rupees 5 lakhs at the end of each year and to invest the equivalent amount outside the business this is to enable it to replace one of its production machines in 5 years time if the investment is to earn interest at the rate of 12% per annum how much will be available at the end of the fifth year for such replacement now the periodic payment is 5 lakhs how do i know it's a periodic payment because it's at the end of each year okay and also the time is 5 years not a problem interest rate is 12% okay 12% per annum how much will be available at the end of the fifth year so first of all you're putting 5 lakhs at the end of each year and they're asking how much how much will be available at the end of the fifth year from this much you have to understand that they have asked you to calculate future value annuity at the end of a certain number of years which is equal to its periodic payment open bracket 1 plus r raised to the power of n minus 1 upon r and now we simply substitute and solve this is a very simple question okay so if you really want to be proper future value of annuity for 12% for 12% and 5 years is equal to 5 lakhs 5 lakhs open bracket 1 plus and since we are talking about 12% we must understand that 12% means 12 upon 100 which is 0.12 so it's going to be 1 plus 0.12 the whole thing raised to the power of 5 minus 1 and divided by 0.12 okay so i mean this is being very very academically correct i'm just going to do one time implies that our future value annuity for 12% and 5 years 5 years okay is equal to is equal to 5 lakh open bracket Okay, and I'm adding, so it's going to be 1.12 to the power of 5 minus 1 upon 0.12. Okay, so whatever we solve from inside the bracket multiplies into 5 lakhs, and that's our answer. Okay, and I'm going to do that on the calculator. I've done this in a previous sum. Okay, so you all should know how this works. I'm going to type 1.12 into 1.12 equal to The moment I press equal to once, one point one two into one point one two, I get one point one two square. But I need to reach to the power five. So now you can either keep doing into one point one two, or the calculator allows you a shortcut. You just keep pressing the equal to button. So if I press it now, it's to the power three. Again, four, five. Okay, so this is what I have for one point one two to the power five. From that, I subtract one. and i divide by 0.12 okay and this will give me uh, what was called the compound value factor annuity okay in the previous question and we have the future value annuity at 12% and 5 years if you really want to put the yrs those fva is also enough is equal to 5 lakhs is equal to 5 lakhs into 5 lakhs into 6.3528 and understand there are so many zeros so it actually makes sense to put as many of these decimal points as possible and then solve up to two decimal places so i'm just going to dump all of them in for now and then we're going to do the math and see how much it works out to okay so it's going to be into 6.3528 Anyway, you're going to do it on the calculator. So, if you want, you write up to six decimal places and leave it, and then just multiply this whole number into five lakhs. Okay, and see exactly two decimal places I get. So, it made sense to write all of them down. Okay, so what is this number? Thirty-one lakh seventy-six thousand four hundred and twenty-three point sixty-eight. Okay, so our future value annuity for twelve percent and five years when 
5 lakhs is saved at the end of every year. Okay, their question is how much will be available at the end of the fifth year. The amount that will be available at the end of the fifth year is this number. Okay, so that is rupees, if you really want to use the rupee symbol, rupees 31,76,423.68. I hope you have found this video useful. I request you to please like it, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and classmates. Thank you.